Welcome. We're finally going to start learning different arm and head positions in the center, and today we'll work on tendu. I've already given some basic port de bras and head movement videos as well as preparing appointment positions, so if you're a beginner, I really suggest you watch those first before diving into the center video. So if in your ballet classes you find that all you do is hold your arms in second, or if you do use your arms but all you do is face the mirror, or if you do do your appointment positions but it always seems to be the same basic positions with no variety and you're getting bored with it, and you want to make your dancing look a little bit more interesting, you can achieve it by doing small changes with the head and the arm, such as looking down through the arm instead of looking up and straight all the time. We do mostly dance with our head up into the audience, but there are some movements that require different positions, and they are just as important. So I'm going to introduce this with some basic tendu combinations. And by basic, I mean I'm going to mostly use intuitive positions with opposite arm of legs and comfortable arabesques. I'm only demonstrating some examples today. There are endless arrangements of arm and head positions and I can't get to all of them in one video. So I'm just gonna demonstrate real quick and then slow it down. Two tendus a face front, two tendus écarté derrière, Two tendus in quasi derriere, turn around and don't worry, I'm gonna break it down on the other side. Five, six, seven, up. Did you remember? Your head always follows your arm in preparation. So we went through first and then we opened to a face front. The head is out to the audience and the arm opposite of tendu is in first position. This is pretty comfortable, though it's more common to do quasi. Next, I opened my arms into second position to do a tendu side, but the body position is écarté back. The head is looking out towards the arm closest to the audience, and while the back arm is typically up for this position, it's also correct to have both arms low. Finally, tendu in quasi derriere with your head looking over your hand in élangé. This is your very standard, comfortable arabesque. You should know this. Let's do another combination. I'm going to throw in something new. Let's start with a tendu à la seconde with pour le pied, which just means for the feet. It's a little foot warm-up exercise. Two tendus face devant, we just learned this, and tendu face derrière, we didn't do this yet. Little PK preparation before a pirouette, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And don't worry, I'm going to break it down again. So let's go over the new stuff. So remember to use your head in preparation like a little breath. When you do tendu à la seconde, you can sometimes tilt the head away from the leg if the combination is en dehors. If the foot were going from back to front, en don, your head would look towards the leg. So a little efface devant, we just learned this one in the previous combination, head out to the audience. And then efface derriere, we didn't do this one yet. It feels a little awkward. Here I have the arm opposite of tendu in first position. And my head is looking down through the first position arm. But remember, there are so many ways to do this. This is just one example. I can't possibly cover every permutation of arm and head positions, but hopefully I'll be able to expand upon these videos and show you more later. So if you want to challenge yourself and test your coordination, you can even put these two combinations together. Pour les pieds, head away. Efface, head out to the audience. Efface derriere, head through the arm. Spot where you're going to turn if you decide to do the turn and begin part two where we did efface devant, écarté back, standard quasi derriere arabesque, and turn around if you want to. All right, let's do another one. Remember to use your head on preparation. Let's start with a tendu quasi devant. Now this is a pretty common position. You've probably done it, but you're probably not used to doing this head and arm position. Right now my arm opposite of tendu is in first position and my head is looking through the first position arm. I'm going to transfer my weight and my head is going to follow my hand into arabesque. We have some nice comfortable tendus in arabesque. And then tendlier back, same thing, your head follows your hand. And let's open into some alisagone tendus. You know this, you got this. If you want to prepare for a fourth position pirouette, your hands generally go through first position in the prep. Alright, last one for today. Let's start with a tendu quasi devant, the one we just learned, head looking through the first position arm. I'm going to change through plie, and uh, look, we got a new quasi derriere with different arms. This is not your standard arabesque arms anymore. The arm opposite of tendu is in first position, and my head is out to the audience. It doesn't always have to be looking over Elanger arms. 
and change through the plie, and then we'll finish up with your standard alisacone tendus. I'm not going to focus too much on alisacone today, and here you get to see me try to turn in my shitty gainer mindens. I hate them so much. I'm going to talk about why I hate them some other time. Anyway, so we had tendu quasi devant, and then we had tendu quasi derriere with different head and different arms, not standard alange. These shoes suck. I hate them. I feel like I can't do tendu. Can't feel the floor. This platform's so wobbly. I can't turn in these pieces of shit. Anyway, sorry about that. Finish your pirouette with a nice Alon J and look over your hand if that's how you finished. Anyway, there's a whole lot more to cover and I'm hoping I can post more videos with different arms, bigger arms, etc. Please stay tuned for part two, maybe? You can help me create more content by donating or if not, just stay salty, my friends, and maybe give me a follow on Instagram. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Happy dancing.